All right. You guys ready for some wizardry? Okay. Are you ready with the timer? Timer starts in three, two, one, go. The work of a great hard cold. Okay, so are you getting the audio from Mumble or from my stream? since the new route isn't marathon friendly. Yes, Dunno War, this game is the best. So what is going on? I'm just uh, running around. Being a wizard. Hey, you shouldn't be. And then there's these necromancers and they're starting shit. So now I'm gonna go kill that necromancer. Turn game off. Oh, okay, hold on. Now you learn the true meaning of it. All right, is that better? overall real quiet then can't really do anything about that because my my uh, microphone is uh, maxed out Best voice clip in the game. Oh, you think I'm random? What? No! <laughs> Trolls everywhere! <laughs> yep. Uh. <laughs> 
Okay, so the um, start of the run is kind of straightforward. So, can you explain to me what this game is? I used to be able to control the game, so I never experienced this. Oh, hold on. So, um... Could you repeat that? What the game is about, or... The Book of Oblivion? Yeah, if you could just explain what the game is. Alright, so... Well, the game is... The game is uh, Nox, which is an action RPG, as you can see. It came out um, in 2000, a little before Diablo 2. Uh, I guess the reviews were kind of good for it, like 80-ish or 90, but um, uh, I guess it wasn't as popular as Diablo 2. And um, the multiplayer gameplay was kind of like a top-down quake. Combined with Diablo, it's really fast-paced. So yeah, um, the start of this run is kind of straightforward. No useful tricks yet. And just run. Try to not die. That was pretty close. Perhaps you could use a scroll or potion. Okay, so I sell my my staff of uh, my staff of sulfuric flares to get an earlier haste spell. This is a small choke point in the run. Possible. Get down that elevator. I usually die there. It's, it can be a pretty hard spot. Oh no. Never mind. Choke number one. Sorry, Hengenus. Should I also talk a moment? Perhaps you could use a scroll. Doing save strats, buying more potions because I kind of fucked up at the start. Assume that's the small classes. Yeah, so um, all right. So the difference between the classes is that um, they have different campaigns, and um, well, the start of the game is different for each of the classes. So they're considered a separate category. And, um, well, the warrior doesn't have any magic, he just has a melee weapon and some charge or cry. And, uh, wizard's all about spells, and can only use spades. Conjurer can summon some creatures and, um, use a bow or crossbow. And he, the conjurer and the wizard shares about half of the spells. But um, overall, the wizard is the fastest category. After that, a warrior, at least segmented. Um, the conjure is kind of a boring one because conjure doesn't get any useful spells for going fast. He only gets uh, spells for killing stuff. So 
Oh yeah, you're using this spell to run really, really fast. Yes, I'm using haste. It's kind of useful. It's one of the things that makes wizard the fastest. And um, right here is the second spell, the swap position. I can use swap position to change my location with an enemy. And that's used to do a couple of sequence breaks. Like here, it's one, saves like a half a minute. Some of these were probably um, intended by the dev. Alright, so here I'm gonna try to do a um, skip called yes. the apple bump, or in this case, cider bump by dropping a stack of items next to me when I'm near a gate so I get some momentum because the game has physics okay. oh fuck, I messed it up okay, I'm just gonna try this like one more time because it's um, not really marathon friendly what? Ekiba. What strips? But um, it's a lot faster than killing this guy. That's it. Get in here. Right, let's go for it. There we go. So that skips the first Necromancer battle. They have a lot of health. And uh, since I saw my Soul Break Flare stat in the beginning, I don't really have a um, consistent way of fighting him. Okay, and that's another minor sequence break that saves around a little over a minute. By using the swap position. Here's the um, warrior boss in the crypt. I just go into a corner and block his attacks with my staff while he's standing in a burn that I placed there. And here's the third and last sequence break for a swap position in the crypt. And that saves probably the most. does is uh, I place a burn on the um, locations where he is teleporting around. He, the teleport locations are always fixed. And uh, when he takes two instances of damage, he teleports again. So he just keeps teleporting back and forth, unable to do anything. And dies from the burn. No, the uh, loot in the game is entirely fixed, so it's kind of speedrun friendly. Like, I rely on the fact that I always get these items from um, the chapter I just did. So I have enough money for potions and, yeah, I got enough for the rest of the game. Um, I only need, I don't need any armor or any more weapons than the ones I have now. Let's see. Now I need to make a trap for later. 
as a fireball trap, which I would be using to kill a certain boss. So yeah, that wizard boss in the end of the last chapter dropped always a uh, lightning staff. It's got 60 charges and you can't recharge those, so not that useful, because it uh, only lasts a few seconds. But I'll use it for this upcoming race. Okay, here's uh, another escape for... Unless I mess it up. Okay, Turn number two. So you can get in here by shooting a fireball. Sometimes. Okay, that's how you do it. And two chokes on that spot. Okay, that was the um, ogre boss. Super. I just spam uh, my lightning staff and then shoot fireballs on him, and he dies really fast. Okay, so this is an escort mission. I'm supposed to escort that archmage back to town, but I just leave him behind. And I hope he doesn't die. He shouldn't die because I killed the ogre I swapped next to him. If he dies, it's just game over and I have to reload a save. Uh, same thing is if I die, there's no lives in this game, just um, manual saves and auto saves. And you have to reload an old one. Alright, so as you can see, he, he, he had a teleport spell and he could Thank follow me. Not sure why he needed saving. When he could have just teleported away. I heard something. Over there! Okay, so now we're in the warrior fortress of the Mir, and we're gonna go steal the halberd of Horrendous from the warrior boss. Now, in this game, lore wizards and warriors are not the best of friends, so we're gonna have to take it by force. But fortunately, we were given an invisibility spell at the start of this chapter, so we can kind of uh, sneak around. It doesn't really help when I'm running, but um, like there was when I was waiting for uh, the elevator to arrive, I can do it while invisible, so they lose track of me. And yeah, this is That's about as fast as you can do so this right. um, first part. It's heavily scripted with the timing of these moving spike blocks and elevators. So you can potentially screw up Hello, a bit. Wizard. You're very brave to come here, or quite stupid. Yeah, I get trigger no traps so I can I launch my fireballs my traps. Over there. So I can get a nice burst of uh, damage at the start of a fight. Okay, so yeah, maybe I should explain that. It's um, a glitch in the game vanilla version called infinite jumping or lava walking. It's basically you just cast a spell while jumping. And that lets you fly over pretty much everything that you can normally jump over. Right, I'm gonna make a safety save right here, because this, 
Um, it's a choke point. I might choke. I run around while in this zone. Uh, then I just place four traps. Use trigger trap. And. Yeah, that's about it. GG. No red. I just heard so that was the warrior boss, and now we have the Halberd of Horrendous. We need to assemble Welcome this staff to, the to kill Keith. the able final boss you? of the game. And just there, I bought the... oh fuck. I forgot mana potions. Welcome to the wizard's keep. How can I help you? And now we're gonna get the Heart of Nox, which is kept by the wizards. We're gonna put it on top of that um, halberd. And then we need um, two more parts. Right, so the wizard we just escorted is now dead. Rip in peace. And we get teleported into hell for some reason. But it's okay, we can walk on lava, so it's not that bad. So this place is actually kind of dangerous. Um, these um, imps can one-shot me. safety. So the thing with force field is that if you cast that you can't die. Not in a one shot. You'll always be left with one health. So that's what makes the wizard single segment run the most viable or more most marathon friendly because uh, you can use safe strats like using this spell to not die. Okay, that was pretty much perfect. Um, I channeled lightning while... Yeah, so I channeled lightning while keeping up my reflective shield. Which uh, reflected all of the enemy fireballs while killing the enemies. It's uh, one of the things that were changed after the first version. That's one other reason why I do it in the unpatched version. We all know a foul and evil design is being unfolded. Um. What's world record? Um, I don't really know because I haven't really done single segment runs of this game that much. The segmented run is in submission and being verified to SBA at the moment. And it's somewhere around 34 minutes. So you're saying we got to work like a pipe up in here? Maybe. I did one run, but I can't remember what it was. It was kind of like 38-ish minutes, I think. Should be World easy not. Confirmed. Yeah, should be easy not. We to have been it is time to resume. 
Although I've been using really safe strats in this run and I already had to do that. Okay, I use telekinesis to move the boulder. And there's a bat here. This bat is my friend. I used this bat to get through two windows. Sometimes it's a bit finicky because I need the bat to cooperate. Get in there! Sometimes it just randomly flies through the window, so it's like a perfect perfect setup for that. Other times you have to kind of push it with your body. And I use the infinite jump to fly over those um, kind of like poison bags. What did the hellbirds Beholders are kind of annoying since they can cast slow, and you don't want to go slow. You want to go fast. Oh no, Urchin Shaman. He can cast uh, confusion. Nope, nope. Barely. Barely avoided that. So those uh, stone circles can summon pretty much any enemy out of like. 10 or 15 different enemies. The urchin shaman shamans are the only things that I don't want to spawn. Because they're like spellcasters that can confuse me. That was a force of nature trap. for the um, stone bros. I'm just gonna cast the force field so I don't die. I might die anyway, but it should be a really um, easy, easy fight, maybe. But it's a marathon run, so I'm gonna choke. each other, so you can damage them both with the fireball AoE, you can kind of like um, one-cycle them by just running to the exit of that area and spamming lots of fireballs. Usually you use up uh, a few mana potions while doing that. I'm gonna get some free experience by dropping a bird on those um, flesh eating plants or carnivorous plants. Oh no! I got hit by a spinning spider twice. Going slow. Alright, new bosses. Okay, so burn is the best spell in a speedrun for damaging bosses or spellcasters. Um, just because you just um, channel, or you, you place a couple of burns where they're standing, 
And if you don't approach them, then the AI is like, whatever. They're Make just gonna the stand there and cast spells at you. Uh, yeah, I talked to that guy. He gave me some boots of speed. They are important for going fast. It stacks with the haste spell, so it's kind of nice. I use swap location on that dryad or nymph because she usually casts confuse and that wastes a lot of time. Cages. Okay, that was that was really bad. Somehow I missed that. Um, I missed it twice on a button that was supposed to trigger the elevators. Oh shit! Pro tip, don't watch it. Marathon chat. I can't run them off much longer! Yeah, this is, is a huge nostalgia game. And um, I got hit by two ghosts because I'm looking at Marathon chat. I really shouldn't do that. <laughs> This is the big choke room. Choke point. There's three necromancers and I have to kill them. Okay. It's a timed event though, so unless I suck really bad, then it doesn't matter how long it takes. But I bet I'm gonna miss the lead Yep. Oh man, mega choke. I saved just before that. Alright. Right, the 
also make your model better. Sorry for the choke, guys. And um, necromancers are the hard part. After 50 seconds, a leech spawns. And you just spam burns on him. Right, got a little bit of gold left for the last shop in the game. I'm gonna stock up on mana potions, even though I shouldn't need them. Greetings, traveler. This is a dangerous place for the likes of me. Help me out. Right, this is the final chapter. if I'm slow. You have to place an item on that pressure plate. But sometimes when those um, skeletons die, they go physics on you and their bones knock off the item from the pressure plate. It's a bit annoying. Right. This is what makes, um, or one of the other things that makes the wizard kind of a bit uh, Run, compared to the warrior or conjurer. You can be invisible while casting swap position. So you can make your way through a big room with lots of gargoyles and uh, necromancer. Just like that. Right, so this guy kills me in one hit. It's kind of a slow fight, but as long as I don't die, I guess it's okay. Puzzle. That's another one. I block up those gargoyles. And here is the most important one. I don't want to fight that iron golem because it takes a lot of time. So I'm just gonna use a glitch to go through doors. Because why not? Oh man, the bouncy castle. Help! Oh. 
That room is terrible. Okay, so these lasers are insta kill. So we're gonna go through them with the wall and the tree. and telekinesis. have kind of bad AI. They usually just stand around if you don't run next to them. Uh, most spellcasters have that kind of AI that um, cycle but sometimes the liches cast a uh, counter spell so he um, ignores your swap position so you use the spinning laser beams to just instant kill a lich or, or two liches and two iron golems yeah, so usually you're supposed to kill all of these that's kind of slow Just uh, swap location while invisible. Right, final boss fight. They give you two teleportation spells just so you can get out of those two rooms. And after that, you don't really do anything with those spells. And now we hope we can find the, the mage. Want her? Ready up the timer. Stop timer. What? No! It's not possible! GG. Not world record. That was um, kind of a bad run. I guess you could say. The Welcome to is, the uh, land of the dead, mortal. Minutes. You sure fit right in. <laughs> huh. Looks to me like you need a little more warm up. <laughs> Home run! <laughs> Not bad, but it lacks a certain spark. Of creativity. Is that the best you can do? Oh no. Not by a long shot.
Who are you? I might ask you the same question. You're not from around here. No, but I'm beginning to like it. So that's Snox. 